Colloid Environmental Technologies Company has been a manufacturer of a variety of polyurethane products for many years. Our products have been used successfully to solve many small and large problems. Whether you're doing a simple crack repair or stopping a major gushing leak through a tunnel or dam, AquaSeal does the job quickly and easily. AquaSeal can be used in voids in earthen walls and other below-grade applications to stop water flow. Another Setco product, TerraLock, is used to stop erosion on roadsides. Our polyurethane products are durable and versatile and can be used to solve problems that other products cannot handle. The superior hydrophobic polyurethane formula of AquaSeal makes it uniquely suitable for stopping water leaks and permanently sealing cracks. Once injected into a crack or other void, AquaSeal actually reacts with the water in the crack or the moisture it encounters in the concrete or soil. This reaction turns AquaSeal into a super adhesive foaming material that expands up to 20 times its original volume, creating a closed cell gasket. The grout adheres tenaciously to the substrate and forms an extremely strong mechanical bond which is completely water repellent. In this video, we will use AquaSeal to perform a typical repair in a concrete wall. After viewing this tape, you will be familiar with each stage of the process and know how to properly use AquaSeal to repair practically any size crack or void in concrete. Shown here is a crack which could easily be repaired using the techniques we will demonstrate. The repair we'll perform in this video will be in a failed construction joint. Expansion joints and cracks are repaired using the same procedure. The joint we will fix has some water leakage. Cracks with flowing water are not a problem. In fact, we prefer them. If a crack is not leaking at the time of repair, there will still be enough moisture in the concrete to react the grout. However, to expedite the process, water may be introduced to the area by squirting some into the holes you'll drill. A poultry baster or water gun works fine. Because of its hydrophobic characteristics, a small amount of water will completely react the grout. The items we will need for this repair job are AquaSeal. This is available from Setco in both 5-gallon pails and 55-gallon drums. The rule of thumb is that 1 gallon of AquaSeal is sufficient to repair at least 15 feet of crack or joint. With experience, over 60 feet can be achieved. AquaSeal Accelerator. This comes in one pint containers. One pint is usually more than enough for five gallons of AquaSeal. Pricing for AquaSeal includes accelerator. Cementitious Grout. We may need a small amount for patching the injection ports once the job is finished if aesthetics is a concern. Pump Flush. This is also available in five gallon containers and 55 gallon drums. It's a good idea to keep plenty of pump flush handy. Pump flush is essential to the pump operation. Pump flush is available from Setco. It is not hazardous and does not contain solvents. If using a brand other than Setco, make sure that it does not contain any moisture. Moisture will react with the grout and may cause the pump to seize up. Packers. You will need enough packers to place one at approximately every 18 inches along the crack. Wider cracks require fewer packers. A typical five-foot crack will require three or four packers. The packers should be five-eighths inches diameter and come fitted with a grease zerg. Packers, also called injection ports, are available from Setco. This job will require the following tools. Safety glasses. These are essential because of the high pressures in the pump, but should be worn when mixing material and drilling holes as well as when using the pump a small ratchet for sinking packers. You will also need a thin-walled, deep-weld socket to fit over the packers. Pliers or vice grips. A good drill, one suitable for boring through the concrete. We recommend a hammer drill such as a Macho 2. A 5 8 inch drill bit, at least 24 inches long. A paddle mixer and a power drill are normally used, but if these are not available, the accelerator may be mixed in by hand. One or two clean, dry five-gallon buckets for mixing. A scraper for cleanup. A small screwdriver to use for scraping out around the packers. And a pump. Most airless sprayers will work fine. Airless sprayers are typically called paint sprayers. 
Use one that generates at least 2,000 PSI. You will need an eighth inch nipple with a hydraulic coupler for the sprayer. Alternately, a grease gun or hand pump may be used instead of a sprayer for smaller projects. The hand pump shown here is a model CP5 made by the Lilly Corporation. This pump is a Lincoln 1292. These are all available through your local material supplier. When repairing a vertical surface, drill the first hole at the lowest level. Aquaseal by nature rises as it reacts. For horizontal surfaces such as floors and ceilings, the first hole can be anywhere along the crack. Drill the injection holes to intersect the crack at half the thickness of the concrete. This wall is about 14 inches thick, so we will drill to intersect the crack at about 7 inches. When in doubt, deeper is better. Drill at an angle and start at least a few inches away from the crack in order to avoid having the concrete break out when injecting. Alternate sides of the crack as you drill each port. When repairing a concrete slab such as a floor, drill a relief hole a foot or so away from the crack. This will prevent too much pressure from forming under the slab when the grout is injected, which could cause lifting or breaking of the slab. Relief holes are rarely, if ever, needed on vertical surfaces. Sink the injection ports with a socket wrench. Make them firmly secure, but don't over-tighten. The packers can break. We suggest that you don't hold the ratchet by the end of the handle. It may cause too much force. Before putting grout in the pump, you must use pump flush to make sure the pump is working properly and to purge the pump and hoses of any moisture. If you put the grout in the pump and it starts seizing up, you'll have to take the pump apart. Remember that even the moisture in the air can activate the grout. This is a situation that can be avoided by checking to be sure the pump is operating properly by pumping pump flush through it before the grout is used. Also, pump flush allows us to keep the whole pump system sealed. Pump flush or grout is kept in the lines at all times. Pump some pump flush through the pump. If there's any residual polyurethane grout or moisture in the lines, it'll be flushed out at this time. Make sure that the aqua seal is thoroughly mixed and that no separation has occurred during storage of the product. If available, use an electric mixer. Otherwise, it may be stirred by hand in an open five gallon bucket. Aqua seal should not be allowed to freeze. However, if it has, it may be reconstituted. If you suspect that your stored grout has been frozen, consult with Setco for instructions. Estimate the amount of grout you will need for the job. This leaking joint will require about one gallon of grout. Pour the amount of grout required into a clean, dry bucket. It's important to make sure that anything which comes into contact with the activated grout is dry. Water acts as a catalyst to trigger the setting reaction. We are now ready to add the accelerator. Using a dry steering rod, mix in the appropriate amount of accelerator. For most crack or joint repair jobs, one pint of accelerator is recommended for five gallons of grout. This works out to 2.5 percent by volume of accelerator to grout. That mixture will work fine for repairing the leaking joint we have here. Since we're mixing one gallon of grout, we will use one-fifth pint of accelerator. In cracks or joints where there is flowing water, more accelerator may be used to reduce the reaction time of the material. If in doubt about how much accelerator to use, be conservative. More accelerator can always be added. Some experimentation may be necessary depending on water flow, temperature, and the equipment being used. Add the accelerator slowly and stir continuously. If you add the accelerator too quickly, you will tend to get chunks in the material and those can clog the pump. You should stir for approximately three minutes to mix five gallons of grout. For one gallon, about 30 seconds of stirring is sufficient. Use caution not to whip air into the mixture. Once the grout is activated, we're ready to put it in the pump. Put the output hose of the pump into a container where you can collect the pump flush that will get flushed out of the pump. Start the pump and watch for a color change to indicate that the pump flush has been expelled and the grout is now flowing through the pump. A small amount of pump flush which might mix with the grout in the pump will not hurt the mixture. At this point it is recommended that you check the reaction time of the mixture. Pump a small amount of grouts into a plastic cup. 
Now add a few drops of water to the cup and stir vigorously. Time how long it takes for the reaction to occur. For a standard moisture, it should take about 30 seconds to begin and another minute and a half for the material to become fully expanded once water has been added. This will allow the grout to travel deep into the crack or void before reaction occurs. If the grout reacted as expected, it's ready to use. If not, add more grout or accelerator to the mixture to obtain the desired results. Make sure your safety glasses are on. Then you're ready to begin injection. Inject each port with an initial injection. As grout is injected into the void, any water present will be forced up and out. After injecting each port, watch where the water is coming out and look to see where the grout is making its way to the surface. You will see bubbling as the grout begins reacting and outgassing. Here is the joint three minutes after the first injection. You can see that the water leak has stopped and that the grout has reacted and expanded. We'll come back and inject each hole again. This time, we'll not pump quite as much grout. Areas where we did not get good coverage with the first injection will get a little more attention this time. Continue injecting each port until you see grout coming up all along the crack. Once you see the material, allow a few minutes for it to set. After that occurs, if you don't think enough material has been injected, more may be added. With a standard mixture, you may inject additional grout into the crack up to about one and a half hours after the initial injection. Generally, it takes about two or three injections at each port to permanently seal a crack. Enough material has now been injected into the crack. We'll let this set for a few more minutes and then examine the repair. Our crack injection project is almost finished. The grout is fully cured and we can see that we have good coverage all along the joint. We are now ready for cleanup. Scrape off excess grout. A flat shovel, ice scraper, or putty knife works well for this. The injection ports will still have a little grout around them. Scrape this out with a screwdriver or scraper. If any grease zerks are protruding, break them off or bend them in. Then, if you desire, patch the ports with a little cementitious grout. Our crack repair is now complete. Remember to flush the pump. The remaining grout should be flushed out and replaced with pump flush. Keep pump flush in the pump until the next time it's used. With proper cleanup, your pump will last for many crack repair projects. As you have seen, AquaSeal is well suited for concrete repair jobs. Being a hydrophobic polyurethane product, it repels water and seals up cracks and joints much better than other grouts. Once it's set, it will not shrink, even if its environment becomes totally dry. After you are familiar with the procedure for using AquaSeal for crack repair, a new and lucrative market will be open to you. This product is extremely durable, yet environmentally friendly. AquaSeal is UL listed for drinking water contact under the NSF specification 61-1989. Colloid Environmental Technologies Company, your source for quality polyurethane grout, bentonite waterproofing, and other innovative environmental products.